Hello and welcome to Fawad Lake's walkthrough videos. Um, today we are going to look at uh, the groups which we can create and what's up goal. Uh, I'm talking about device groups. Uh, if you look over here, we already have network um, all the devices dynamic groups, but we have in what's up goal. We have all routers, discover devices, dynamic group examples. Uh, layer 2 maps. These are the default groups which are available. Now, for example, if I would like to create some groups inside WhatsApp Gold, how can I achieve that? So there are um, two types of groups in WhatsApp Gold. Um, to create any one of them, you just need to create new group. Now over here, you can write up a name of a gr group and description and save it. That would be a static group. But if you want to create a dynamic group, you have the ability to create it by some dif uh, different steps. So static group and dynamic group are two different type of groups which you can have in WhatsApp group. Static, static group is like if you probably would like to copy the devices into some group, to categorize them, to apply certain uh, changes, to apply certain settings, you can do it. The other way is dynamic group. So to do dynamic group, we have a sub goal dynam dynamic groups which are already there, or we can create layer two dynamic groups also. There are two things which we can achieve over here. We can do it through device criteria, membership rights and stuff. Uh, normally what I prefer to do is, I prefer to create dynamic groups which are basically through WhatsApp Gold Dynamic Group Builder. Now there are again two options. You can use the Dynamic Group Builder option or you can create a predefined dynamic group which already have some predefined stuff over there. But I probably would try to go with use the Dynamic Group Builder because I want to show you how you can create different types of dynamic groups. Dynamic groups are those groups in which the devices would be uh, assigned to, I mean, the members were, uh, members' devices would be assigned to this group based on certain criteria. So over here, you can name this group. Probably, I I would say that I would like to name it like Windows, for example, servers or um, servers. A description: This is test dynamic dynamic group. Whether I want to do it from one particular group or from all devices, I would prefer to go with all devices. And then I can add criterias. I can add one criteria, I can add multiple criterias. So, for example, I can say that if the active monitor is assigned to it, I can have different kind of things through which I can choose it from. So, to just make it simple, if I want to create a group, of Windows devices, what I would do is I would create a group has a Windows credentials assigned to it, yes or not. If I say okay, this is one of the criteria I can select. Then probably if I would like to select another criteria, I can come over here and I can say if the device type is that if the device type contains or is does not contain is not or starts with ends with whatever. Server, for example, I can say, or I, I can say if the device um, attribute has this value, we'll see what is device attribute in later stages. Now, we are not going to talk about it today. Um, so, I'll create it as another uh, criteria. And if you look over here, I have option to have and, and I can choose or. Definitely, if both conditions are true, then it would be occupied into this group. The member should be assigned to that machine. If it is OR, then any one of these conditions, if it is true, that machine would definitely be populated to this group. I'm not going to use the second criteria. I'm only going to use the first criteria and I'll say OK. And my group is created with this criteria over here, which says servers. And if you look over here, it has two devices inside. So criteria what I have selected for these two devices is that 
any device which has Windows credentials assigned to it should be added to this group. So now you can see that I have these two devices. Both of them has Windows credentials assigned to them. So this was today's tutorial where we saw how we can create uh, groups in WhatsApp Gold, dynamic or static. Uh, if you want, we can talk about more in depth about each and every part of the dynamic group builder. But I think they are very simple. They explain themselves. So if you want to know about more details, you can comment on my videos and I'll try to create that walkthrough or add that in my walkthroughs also. Thank you so much once again for watching for our Lakes walkthrough videos.